Okay, welcome back. In the last video, we finished off France and we chose to go to Russia instead of Africa. So now we have a choice, Barbarossa North, Center, or South. Uh, it says here that all roads will lead to Moscow. So North, I assume, will probably go through Leningrad and face a lot of rough terrain, marshes, lakes, rivers. Center, um, push through the Smolensk land bridge, um, and Vyazma to Moscow. Um, Probably, I would say that might be the easiest uh, path, possibly. And south will face uh, a lot of open terrain, probably heavy Russian armored forces because the Soviets had a heavy armored concentration in eastern Poland and western Ukraine, um, although it was older model tanks. And then in the south, I assume eventually we might face the Crimea, we might face Rostov to, t to sort of turn the corner to the Caucasus, Caucasus oil fields, maybe a Stalingrad scenario. So I would prefer to uh, do the south, that sounds more interesting to me, uh, a lot more open, a lot more interesting than just the drive directly on Moscow or directly on Leningrad. Uh, so I think I'll choose that one. Guten Tag, Herr General. It's good to see you returning to active service. I trust you've been keeping your skills sharp in the years since our campaign in France, yeah? You're going to need them. Because tomorrow we will be joining in Operation Barbarossa, the largest invasion the world has ever seen. Your unit's transfer to Lublin is complete, and you are now formally operating under Army Group South Command. Field Marshal von Brunstedt believes that your advance through the Ukrainian SSR will keep enough pressure on the Red Army for Army Group's North and center to complete their objectives at Leningrad and Moscow. Destroying the Red Air Force early should be a top priority. Focus on these air bases here, here, and here. Drive a path deep into the Soviet Union, but make certain you have enough firepower to deal with large concentrations of Soviet armor you will inevitably encounter. So, our Romanian allies are ready to advance along the length of the Prut River. See if you can make good use of them to strike vulnerable Soviet planes. As a final reminder, because it has been over a year since your last operation, be sure to check the equipment stocks of your troops. We wouldn't want to send them into Russia with those sort of weapons. Okay, so we got a new leader, fast rebase. Aircraft does not spend move on action rebase. That seems like a pretty good leader. I've got some really bad ones, I think, but that one seems decent. Um, if we take a look at the map, it looks like we have to advance from eastern Poland, Lublin, on Lvov, Kovel, and Premzel. Um, ultimate objectives here, Zidomir, <coughs> Vinitsa. I think those are also in eastern Poland. Um, and two cities in the south, or two to villages, towns in the south. Looks like we can start four units with the um, Romanians to support them. And... Um, no units here, so most of our units are going to have to go in the north. Um, if we just look at what the Romanians have, looks like they have a cavalry infantry, two mountain infantry, an R1 tank, which looks quite horrible, and an R2 tank, which looks almost as horrible. Um, 105 millimeter model and a 75 millimeter, so two artillery and a ground attack aircraft, it looks like. Um, so. I think the idea will be to split into essentially three forces, one to advance along the Kovel axis uh, to Zidomir, one to advance through Lvov and clean out Premzel, eventually advancing to Vinitsa, and then the other in the south to support the Romanian drive on these two cities, Balta and Tigina, um, through Bessarabia. So uh, I think I'll also may put some planes at this airfield. Let's see. Um, took a look earlier. It looks like I can put some planes at a bunch of airfields in the south or these airfield, this airfield in the north. The problem with the northern airfield is I think it'll quickly go out of range, whereas this airfield seems pretty flexible. Um, it can reach all the way up to Lvov, basically, and then also south to support the Romanians driving out of uh, <coughs> eastern Romania. So um, that'll be the general plan. Uh, again, at the beginning I chose the um, 
penalty that I can only upgrade three units so that'll be fairly significant in this scenario because if we look at what's available no new infantry a bunch of new tanks um, and I took a look at these the Punzer 4F and the Punzer 3H are the best of the bunch um, the Punzer 4F is still a low velocity um, basically a, a high explosive gun but it's cost 310 compared to the Punzer 3H which costs 270 so I'm going to assume it's a better overall tank if you look at them compared, um, it has much higher soft attack, a little bit lower hard attack, and lower initiative. Um, so probably I will get a mix of the 3H and the 4F. Um, of course, since I can't upgrade and I'm still operating the 4D and the 3F from France, um, I will probably put some of my tanks in a reserve um, to keep their experience and buy some new tanks so that I have more uh, modern tanks. Uh, recon, it looks like there's a new tank, the Punzer 2F. I took a look at it, it's not very good. It's really not much better than an armored car. Um, there's also a new anti tank gun, the Sturer Emil, um, which is amazing. I mean, it's uh, AT support, so it provides support to friendly targets that are attacked. I'm betting that it cannot move and then attack, it can only attack before it moves, but I'm not sure about that. Uh, the gun, though, has a 28 hard attack, which is insane. And the armor is rated as a 20, so it's crazy good, although it's very vulnerable to air. Um, initiative of 13. So this, this tank is beastly. It does use five core slots, and it does not benefit from my Punzer General Advantage, which reduces tanks by a slot, basically, because all of these tanks are three slots, but they become two slots because of my advantage. So I wouldn't get that advantage with this Sturer Emil. Although I'm still tempted to buy one and spend the four slots on it or five slots, I may not though, simply because I don't think I'll face difficult Soviet tank types in this scenario. Probably older tanks, T26, T28, BT7, BT5, things like that that are light armored, slower, um, don't have very good guns. So I don't know if I'll need this tank. Um, it's not very good against infantry. You can see it has a four attack against infantry, which is very poor. Um, AA, uh, same choices it looks like. Um, the 88 is the most appealing here. Um, artillery, I've got this new 170 millimeter, but if we look at him, he basically has the same um, attributes as the 210 with less power. Um, he can only fire against anti-tank type units. He can't fire, or sorry, tank type units. He can't fire against soft targets. So. I really prefer, I think, the 180, uh, sorry, the 210, even though it's one slot more. Um, I've also got the Sturmgeschütz B, uh, which we, I think we looked at in France, or maybe not. Um, good tank. Uh, some disadvantages are uh, it only has a range of one, um, but it does have the ability to um, attack bunkers, plus five against structures, and it destroys four points of entrenchments per attack. Most um, Artillery, for example, would destroy either um, two or three, so that's good. Um, there's also this new um, half-track uh, mounted rocket launcher. I don't know how to pronounce that, but something like Wurf Ramen 40. Um, this is not very good in terms of raw numbers, so let's just compare it. It's five slots. Let's compare it to the 170, for example. So the 170 is on the top. Uh, to the right. Um, we can see that the 170 has better soft attack, it has better hard, much better hard attack, um, it has worse defense, uh, but it has better range, much better range 4. However, the w one redeeming feature of this, other than protection of this um, unit is it, um, well it fires against soft targets, doesn't fire against hard, um, that's not necessarily a redeeming feature, um, but it has this rapid fire 2x makes two times more shots than normal and consequently deals 2x damage to the target. This trait does not affect ammo spending. The unit still consumes one ammo per attack. So that seems good. We get two attacks um, and then it kills two entrenchments. But it does use five slots. It costs 400. I really believe I would rather have um, a mix of the 210s and the 150s over this. I may throw in some Sturmgeschütz because they only cost two. They seem pretty interesting to pair with my pioneers to reduce the entrenchment on cities uh, before the pioneers attack and also to defend the pioneers against the counterattack out of the city. So I may pick up some of those. 
fighters. Uh, we have an upgrade to the BF109F, which is generally a better fighter and definitely the one I prefer. I noticed that the markings on it, you have a yellow propeller versus a yellow uh, front fuselage, uh, so you can tell them apart more easily. Stuka, uh, we went from the B to the R. The R is slightly more long-ranged, slightly better at attacking naval units. Not a huge upgrade. Um, level bombers, we went from the Junkers 88A to the Dornier 217E, which has better attack values, especially against soft targets, 18 versus 14. Um, and it does have a better defense. So I would definitely like to pick up the Dornier 217E, plus it looks really cool. I love the bug nose on the Dorniers. Um, the, stu the 88A looks good as well, but I think these look really cool. Um, so that's what we have to buy. Um, what I'll probably do is I'll probably pick up a few more tanks since this will probably be a more um, tank centered defense force and it's also pretty open terrain and I'll probably move some of my experienced tanks to the reserve so that I can pick up some new tank types since I can only upgrade three units and start to also develop my core tank force because I think eventually I might want to be running eight or even ten tanks as my core slots go up. Right now it went up to 72 so I've got eight free slots. Um, so that'll be the plan with the tanks. I'll probably still run four infantry, four pioneers I believe. Um, those shouldn't need to be upgraded, there are no new infantry upgrades. Um, I might pick up an additional artillery or maybe a few Sturmgeschutz, Stug 3s, or stu uh, to um, support my pioneers. Um, since I have to shoot down the Russian Air Force, and I assume they'll be numerous, I will consider taking a new fighter, but I'm not sure. Um, I think the Russian Air Force is fairly weak, so maybe three fighters is enough. One to hit each of these three airfields. Um, one, two, three. I doubt I'll kill all the planes at the airfields, but I can sort of whittle them down over the scenario, and I don't think they'll pose a strong threat to my bombers. Uh, I could be wrong. Um, I've got two Junkers 87Bs. Uh, I might switch one of them to reserve and pick up an R, although the R is a very small upgrade. It does have a little bit of range, and I would probably want three um, tactical bombers experienced in my core force in case I ever want to use that many as the force um, cap goes up, the core slots goes up. Strategic bombers, I've already got three. I don't necessarily need any additional, but I might pick up one of the Dorniers as a fourth level bomber and put one of these to reserve or even put two to reserve to make room for other things. Um, I haven't, I'll decide that. So anyway, I'll pause the video while I make these upgrades and then I'll come back and explain what I've done. Okay, so here is the final result of what I've done with upgrades and purchases. I'm sticking with four infantry, and I still have two infantry in reserve. They're all pioneers, except the one reserve infantry. Uh, I've upgraded, um, well, first of all, I put, I have four tanks in reserve, all France models, uh, older models. Um, two Panzer IVs, two Panzer III's. Uh, on the battlefield, I have two Panzer III's, one of which is not upgraded. And then I have three Panzer IVs, which are all upgraded, and obviously one Panzer III that's upgraded. Um, I had a leader on my infantry that was an overrun leader, and I realized that's not helpful with the infantry. It's better to keep it with the tank, so I stuck it on the tank. Um, I also did buy the Emil uh, destro tank destroyer because I'm just eager to try this guy out. He seems like he's amazing, and I want to know how the tank destroyer actually works. I want to know if he can move and fire, and I have no idea until I try him. Um, my plan is to put, um, well, we'll talk about plan in a minute. I bought three um, Stug 3s so that they could escort my pioneers. And I stuck with three fighters, although I do now have a fighter in reserve. And I moved a Stuka to reserve and picked up another tactical bomber, an R. The Stuka is not upgraded. I did not upgrade my strategic bomber. I did move two strategic bombers to the reserve. Um, so that's my force. Okay, on to how to deploy these units. So um, let's start with the land units. That's going to be easier. Um, we'll stick with uh, an infantry in the north, um, probably to advance directly on the town. So we'll go here. And then we'll stick with two infantry here, one to assault each city. Um, so let's go with, I think, here and here. This one's a river crossing infantry, so we'll put him in the south. 
probably here because he can hop in his truck and get to the front pretty quickly. Uh, as far as tanks, let's stick to the south actually. We'll give the south um, one tank, uh, potentially our best tank. I think one of these tanks has an initiative leader. Um, it says overrun. I believe this is my initiative leader. Yeah, uh, no, he's evasive. So I want to stick a really good tank in the south to support the Romanians in case they encounter armored opposition, but I really want that one in the north for the battles that will probably occur um, with the Soviet armor concentration. So let's put this tank uh, here, and then um, let's also go ahead and give them a gun in the south. Um, let's give them a flexible gun, so we'll go with this one. And then let's give them a Stug 3 to accompany the engineer. That'll that'll finish up the four southern slots. Uh, in the north, we will stick our artillery out next because it's going to be important to have them in good positions to fire. So let's go here. And the long gun here. And then the last artillery will go, um, let's say, here. And then let's stick a Stug 3 with each of the uh, engineers in the south, or the, yeah, the pioneers in the south. Um, the idea up here will be to have a uh, Panzer 3, which is better against tanks, Panzer 4, which is better against infantry, uh, with each of these two approaches, one in the north, one in the south, and then the Stur Emil will be with the southern approach because I think I'll hit this concentration of armor before I hit this concentration of armor east of um, Rivne. I'll hit the one near Tarn Tarnapal quicker. So I'll stick that guy in the south. Um, probably we'll go with him, I think. Um, actually, I, I might start him here and then he can drive south. And I'll put him here. Okay. And then um, for the Poncers, uh, I forget which one this is. Is this my evasive hero? Yeah, he's evasive, and the other one is overrun. So we'll stick the evasive hero, I believe, here. And we'll put our weaker anti tank tank here because. Um, actually, let me pick that one up. Let me put the Poncer 4 here and the Poncer 3, which is our weaker anti tank tank. But he does have a leader. No, he has a decoration. We'll stick him, uh, let's say, here. Uh, because he's going to be supported by the, sh the Emil. So I think I can put the better anti-tank tank in the north. Because he won't have the support of the AT gun. Uh, by the way, the plan with the Emil is to use it to fight this armor first, and then roll it north to fight this armor, if it works out that way. I don't know how quick the advance will be on each axis. Um, as far as the um, the fighters, uh, we definitely want to hit all three airfields. From this hex, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I can hit this airfield from this uh, airfield. That's ideal because then I don't have to rebase the, um, the fighter so quickly. Um, these two fighters I put up here are going to need to rebase essentially immediately, I suppose. Um, so let's go with that. And actually, uh, let me switch that. I'll pull him up. Uh, they actually don't need to be forward. They can be at the very back of the airfield and still reach their fighters. Um, we'll put the Stuka R, I believe, in the north. Um, and the shorter range Stuka. Actually, maybe not. I might put both Stukas in the north because I have an automatic rebase or a free rebase on the Stuka. B, he can rebase without using a turn. And then I'll put the lever, level bomber um, here so that he can support anything. He's really long range, he moves very fast. Okay, so all deployed. Um, I think we're ready to roll, so let's get started. Wait, make sure I've deployed everything. I think I have. Yeah, yeah everything's deployed. Okay, let's see what this holds. Um,
here let's just move forward and scout what we have looks like infantry infantry um, pretty sure I'm gonna want the Panzer IV to go against this infantry but the question is the Sturmgeschütz where do I put it I'd like it in this hex ideally um, this guy is dug in only at a strength of four, so I could potentially dig him out if I use some planes or artillery on him. Might be a good idea to roll up here, suppress the town. I would reduce, I would, I would take all entrenchments out of the town if I did that. But I would probably prefer to be in this hex so that I could support any units I move over here. Um, I'd like to clean out these units and then move east rather than start east and have to come back west. So let's. Um, Let's see if we can dislodge. Or maybe I just leave this unit in place and focus on killing this unit. I don't know. Um, let's see what we have over here. So I will advance east. There's an I-16 that's an older fighter. Um, Let's go ahead and stick this guy, I think, next to the town so that we can try to assault it next turn. Actually, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to assault Lavav this turn, so maybe next to the town is not good. Maybe I'll go ahead and have him potentially make the first assault here, although he'd take a lot of losses. That doesn't seem too great. Um, hmm. Sorry, I'm trying to <laughs> formulate a plan here. This is difficult. Uh, let's go ahead and fire our long gun here. So now this guy has five suppression. Let's see how much better it gets. And then he's not dug in at all. Let's fire the other artillery, or we could we could roll a Stuka in after we move these fighters out of the way. If we if we hit both these fighters, it's not a bad idea. All right, so let's um, let's send in fighter number one. And hit this plane. Oh, we shot him down. That was great. Let's roll in fighter number two and hit this plane. Oh wow, that's great. Shot them both down. Brilliant. And then we'll send Stuka B here. I could send Stuka R actually. B B has got range to reach anything and so does R. Let's get R some easy experience. So we'll send him in. Okay, now what can we do? A two, three. Still not what I was looking for. Um, I could open up with the Ponser 3. That might not be a bad idea. Let's see if he then retreats. If he does retreat, I'm not going to have anything to attack with this unit, unfortunately. Um, I don't think he'll retreat by taking three losses. Let's see. Yeah, sure did. Okay. Um, hmm. That wasn't good. So at least we can put the Sturmgeschütz, or the Stug 3 here. Remove the entrenchment from the town. It's now, it should be a zero, I think. Is it? No. Why does it still have four entrenchment after I fired at him? I thought I would remove it all. That's interesting. Um, this means I think I need to use my other artillery here, which I probably needed to do anyway. Now I can get a 2-6. That's not a bad result. I don't think I want to use a level bomber here. Let's see if we can just drive him back with a 2 6. Unfortunately, he goes into the hills, which isn't great. Um, let's see. We can cause four to him, and then he'll go further into the hills, which is probably even worse. Um, 
let's go ahead and clear the way the reason I'm, I'm switching to the north now is that I'm trying to decide what to do with this R so I want to see what the north does before I decide what to do with the R um, let's send this guy forward we can now get a 2-3 result let's force him to retreat southeast so that the infantry can still attack him Oh, darn, he went straight east. Ay, 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 that's not good. Okay, my infantry doesn't get an attack this turn. Um, I'm sure I'm going to want to fire at this. Did I get an overrun? No. I'm sure I'm going to want to fire there, so... guy. Let's go. I think there's a unit in here somewhere, so I don't want to leave my artillery vulnerable. Um, let's go. How can I protect my artillery? That's a good question. I really feel like I'm going to need to move it up here. So I'll just do that. And that leaves this guy free. Um, let's go ahead and push him south. Although then my infantry is pretty vulnerable. Um, we'll push him. Oh, that's a 2 2 now that he has an AT gun there, so I don't like that attack one bit. Okay, let's undo this move. Let's see if we can scout out this uh, infantry here. And then scoot our arty forward. Alright, so we won't need a plane up here. Um, we're just not going to get to attack this town. It has four defense. I've already fired out my artillery. Uh, so let's focus on trying to finish this guy off. Probably. Let's go hit him. With the Stuka. And then the question is, can we finish him? Looks like the answer to that question is no. Um, there's no way I can finish both these units. So I think let's send in, I'd like to capture this airfield and the town. Let's send this guy to capture the town. Fire at them, they're probably gonna retreat even further into the hills. Oh, I was hoping this guy could reach the airfield, but I guess he's too slow. What is his move? I guess it's a four? Yep, he's slower than I thought. So I won't get the airfield this turn. And I took a loss with my Punzer four. Can I undo that? Nope. Okay, um, I guess let's do what we can do here. Cause a one point loss to this infantry. Fairly pathetic first turn, I would say here. Um, that's all I have. So yeah, I, um, well, let's move the artillery up. We can go. Oh, we do have this infantry to move. If I moved him, let's say, I guess I'll just move him. I could take the airfield, but I'll probably get counterattacked. Although it would save me a turn of putting a unit there. Um, and the counterattack would be pretty weak because this guy only has one point available to attack with. I actually think that's. Eh, no, I'll want him next turn to attack here. So um, I'll just send him up one. And then I'll use the infantry or the flexible artillery to back him. Move forward the long gun. Okay, my north is, I believe, completely finished. Down here, the Romanians. Um, this guy has a two range, this is a 75 millimeter, there's no way he's going to get to attack there. So what we'll do is we will just... I believe there's... actually let me undo that. I think... I can't undo it. I think there's a unit off to the west. Or two units maybe. So 
So we're going to have to deal with him eventually. I'm not sure how. Um, let's go here. Here. We've got an ME-109 here. We want to use it on this airfield. So let's... Uh, let's do that. Hit the fighter. Didn't quite kill him. Um, reveal three tanks here, all old models, BT-7, 226. Um, we still have the level bomber. I don't think he can kill anything, but he could start to soften something up. Let's use him on this infantry, because I'm sure we're going to attack it. And then we've got some Romanian artillery that can fire. We've got some... German artillery they can fire if it moves up. So we need to move a unit first. The tanks seem to be able to do okay here. Um, oh, so could the German tank. Let's um, actually we have another river crossing here, so maybe let's send this guy across this river. Yeah, let's do that. I don't know if this is defended though. Let's try. Let's try this. Nope. Well, that's unfortunate. Can I undo that? Nope. All right. Um, at least now I can move this gun up, shoot him. And that'll let me get a bloodless attack with my Ponser 4 to push the river. To get the river crossing cleared. Hopefully he'll retreat. Wow. He didn't retreat. Crazy. Okay. Um, I can move the cavalry up and take a loss to get him to retreat, which I think I'll do. Hopefully I'll retreat here. Thank you. Okay. Um, now, let's move the other Romanian infantry across the river, or the only Romanian infantry in the area. But before I do that, I could use this um, bomber, which I think I'll do. To reduce him and hopefully then I won't take a loss. Yep, perfect. So we'll move on up. Hopefully no loss here. Okay, killed. And then um, we want to back up this tank. So to do that, we can move up the... Actually, let's see if we need to support this German pioneer. Um, He can move up, but then he might be vulnerable in his trucks, and they might have air, so that's probably not a good idea. So I think I'll be cautious with the German Pioneer. Um, let's go ahead and get the Soviet, or I mean the Romanian infantry up, and then let's move this Sturmgesuits 3 up, Stug 3 up, um, and then let's move the German Pioneer here, let's say. Doesn't really matter where I move him because either way he's going to be on the west side of the river. I think that's all my units. Let's check what's left. Oh yeah, I could attack here, but I don't want to do that. I could attack here, but I don't think I want to do that. Here, I'm sure I don't want to attack. Actually, you know, that last attack wasn't so bad. Because he's on the river, so he's probably weaker. Is that a town? No, he's just on the river, so I believe he should be weaker on the river. However, let's wait. Um, no need to take extra losses with the Romanians because... Oh, here comes a small tank or a recon unit. What is that guy? T-38. Probably a recon tank. AI is pretty aggressive, but so were the Soviets historically. This is interesting, the cavalry wants to get my tank in the city. Good move, because tanks don't defend well in close terrain, but luckily I had my Sturm shoots there to fire at the cav. Um, quite a concentration here. Okay, turn two. Uh, let's deal with this concentration. Um, 
I don't really want to fire the stug because I want to try to reduce this guy's entrenchment, ideally. I'd love to put reinforcements in this guy, but he's very effective um, against soft targets. So what's the best move here? Well, maybe we can start with our planes. It seems like I, I don't really want to hit this I-16 because he's so terrible that it's not really necessary to shoot him. Um, although, do I have any target for this fighter down here? I don't think I do. So maybe I'll bring this fighter up. Hmm. Okay, we won't start with the planes. Let's start with these, like I first said. I'm getting a little too distracted. Um, how can I arrange this? I think let's fire at the artillery with this gun because I think he only reduces two entrenchments, so I'd rather not use him on the city. And then my Ponser 3. I don't want to take this hex because I think I might move this infantry here to attack this infantry. So, what to do? I think I'll go ahead and use my Stukas. Here is one. Let's use him against... Actually, let's use my R. Let's get him some easy experience against the Cav. We'll hit the Cav with the R. And then... Um, Let's use the B on this infantry in the hills. Okay. And then um, I should be able to hit... Oh, wow, the tanks are moving up. I kind of thought they would wait. Are they moving? No, I think they haven't moved. I think they might have started there. Um, I want to get this guy shuffled east, but the town won't be cleared to do that anyway. So let's use him here, I think. Maybe he'll get lucky and kill him. Nope, he just retreated him. Too bad. All right. Um, so now the Ponser 3 can kill him. So we'll do that. And then this infantry... Let's go ahead and commit to moving the... Um, so we're not even going to get to attack Lavov. We need to hit this unit. So let's go over here and suppress him. Let's move this unit. Oh, that's artillery. I, I need to get that artillery for sure. Um, I should have probably saved a Stuka to use against that artillery. So let's move the south. I'll delay the north. Let's see if we need any fighters in the south first. Um, we've got an artillery and a gun. Let's just take a look at this 105, what his stats are. He is... He's fine against both, actually. Not a bad artillery piece. Um, we can get a better suppression against this artillery. Or, sorry, this um, gun. Let's move our gun up and see what we can do. Zero, 0101, zero, one. that's interesting. Why is my gun so bad? I wonder if it suffers from having moved. All right, we'll hit this guy. We'll hit this guy. We've got one ground attack aircraft. Let's use them on this uh, T-38. All right. Now what? Now we're gonna push from the north. So I should have a tank in the south here. I wanna use it on his tank. So let's see if I can somehow clear I'm going to use my level bomber here. Yep. And I really want to clear this guy out of the way. There's a 1-4. That's not a bad result. So let's take that. Maybe we can push him onto the river. Yep. Okay, and then I should be able to do well on the river here. Um, I'd like to get the pioneers involved, so let's move this guy back. Let's get the pioneers in the attack. And kill five points. That should eliminate them. Great. Okay. Now, um, the next thing is I would like to get the Sturmgeschutz involved. So let's move this guy east. Let's move the Stug 3 onto the river. Suppress him. 
Then I can use this tank to move forward. Actually, let's move that back. Do we want to attack with this tank first? Yes, we do. Two losses. Okay, he's retreated onto the river. Now we can hit him on the river. Um, I don't think we really want him in our rear, but let's see what happens if I hit him here. He might just die. Yep, perfect. Okay. All right, so I believe I'm all done here. Has everything moved? No, this infantry can move or reinforce. It's Romanian. Let's put some crappy replacements in him. Uh, I don't want to spend on elite replacements. The south here is done. In this area, um, he's only got two range. We can move him west and hit this infantry, or we can just fire away here. I really want to clear out this unit next before I try to even cross the river, so I'm going to do that. Let's fire here. Then we'll try to make an attack here and then fall back with the tank. So let's then move the tank. Uh, if I move onto that river, I'm pretty sure I'll get hit by these guys. What's their movement? Their movement is four, yep. So I don't want to go on that river. So let's go here. And then we'll take the, that's a two four, that's a two three. We'll take the better infantry and hit him. He didn't even fall back, interesting. Um, here I think we'll go ahead and valley up to this infantry. We don't really want to let him across the river to attack my artillery. And that's all we can do here. So the Romanians are struggling for sure. Uh, fighters not needed in the south, so let's move it north. Do we want to actually attack the artillery? That's not a bad idea. Let's leave this I-16 alone. Let's come down here and um, finish off the fighter. And then we will finish off the bomber. Or, sorry, hit the bomber. Yeah, we did finish it. Great. And then our last fighter will move up and bomb this artillery to get started on it. I think I'm out of planes now. Um, what can I do here? I think I'm actually going to move my infantry back a hex. Then let's use the Sturmgeschut, the Stug. And then let's come in with the, the infantry. Um, you know, I could use this gun to hit him. Let's see if we can avoid taking another loss with the infantry. No such luck. Um, let's just make the attack. He falls back. The infantry can't advance. Okay, so down here, I would take no losses, let's do that. Boy, I'm, they're just getting deeper into these mountains, I really don't want to go into these mountains after them. What a bummer. Um, And this guy is even going to take a loss if he attacks. Crazy. All right, well, let's take the airfield. Let's take the loss. Finish off this guy. All right. This guy's at one strength, so I'm sure I can finish him next time. Uh, the danger here is going to be if they move out of the city. Um, so I'm just going to leave my artillery in place. I think I'm all done. Let's see what else I can move. Oh, the north, okay. Um, up here, let's go ahead and fire our artillery. Boy, this is a slow, slow advance. Um, dealing with these border troops. Let's bring the... Actually, is that city empty now? It is. I thought there was an, any tank gun or something there. I don't know what happened to it. I think I just... Oh, I haven't spotted it. That's what's going on. Um, okay, let's send the... I don't want to get next to that AT gun, and he's going to fire in defense, surely. So should I try to suppress him? Or just suppress this unit further? Um, I think what I'll do is I'll suppress the front guy. Can I do that? What can I do against the artillery? Let's go, or the AT. Let's go ahead and 
Who's got better defense? I think this guy is a 16. A 15. Stug has a... 16. Let's go ahead and send the Stug to take the airfield. We will bombard this guy. Was that a mistake? Hold on, undo that. Let's bombard this guy because he's going to fire in defense of whoever attacks the front guy. So no matter what I do, I'm about to take losses. Um, let's go ahead and move here. We'll take the loss. I just don't want him to retreat in that direction. That'll let my infantry finish him. And then I can move the infantry up to the city. And I can hopefully move the artillery up right next to these guys so they're supported if an attack happens. And then down here I've got a free tank, so what's the strength on him? He's a 4, so I probably won't kill him. But, let's take a shot at him. And he retreated toward the city. Okay, I think I'm done. What's left? No attack there. I'm done. Turn 2. Boy, these are tougher early turns than I expected, really. Ah, he killed two on my Stug 3. What a bummer. I kind of thought the Stug 3 would fire first since he's artillery, but he didn't. Good, he came out of the hills to it, out of the mountains to attack me and killed himself. Lucky, lucky. Okay, turn three. Let's put in some reinforcements here. We sorely needed reinforcements. These tanks have still not moved. We've got an artillery here we need to deal with. Um, there's a fighter or a bomb. This is the I-16. So let's deal with the I-16 first. Um, We'll roll up and hopefully shoot him down. Let's see. Is this bomber a 15 strength bomber? Strength 15. Wow, an overstrength bomber. Boy, I have got to get busy on him. Gee whiz. Straight into this. I'm going to have to send my other two fighters against him. I didn't even notice that guy. I saw him, but I didn't really register that he was an overstrength bomber. Crazy. Okay, that, that whittled him down. Boy, that's a crazy unit. Um, now, what to do? So, ideally, we have to take out this artillery. I won't be able to squeeze by on that south side, so I'm going to have to come from the north. Um, I'd like to also assault the town this turn if I can. So, let's start with Astuka. Here's my B. We'll fly him in against the artillery and hit it. For good result, I only had an expectation of four, but I killed five. Um, then, I'd like to kill this um, infantry, but I don't want to use a good unit to do it. I want him for the attack on the town. So, how to deal with him? I guess. Oh, I can go to I can go around him. So let's do that. Let's go over here, kill the artillery. I got an overrun. Brilliant. Okay. So I think for the overrun, I will. I don't know if I want to take this airfield because I want this infantry to retreat onto the airfield, not into the city, where he's harder to dig out. So let's figure out whether I'm going to even get to make an attack on the city this turn. Let's see how strong it looks. We've hit it with two units. If I roll up, I can lose two, kill five. That's pretty good. Um, the question is, do I want to use my level bomber there? I don't think I'm going to need him down here this turn. So um, I could use him here, but I think I'm going to go ahead and use him against the city. Let's try to make progress here. Alright, and then I can move this unit up and make an attack. Let's go with this hex, it seems a little safer. We'll push him directly east if we get lucky here. I'm not sure what the retreat, but darn it, he went into the city. Aye, okay. Um, probably should have used the Sturm, the Stug 3 first. Uh, da, 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 what to do here? If I suppress him further. If I move the Stug into the city, I don't see any infantry available that can counterattack it. 
So I don't think that's a bad move. I can also probably back it with artillery. So let's go here. Let's move our AT gun up to kill off this unit. Just because he's not very good against infantry, that seems like the best use of him. He'll also defend this thug if he gets counterattacked by the armor. Um, now here, we could dismount if we move up. I think let's do that. Already fired both these guns, yes. Um, I wanna go support my I wanna go support my um, tank up here. So let's do that next. And then we'll send this artillery to support the first artillery in case somehow the Russians can attack him. Although I don't think there's any way he can attack him, so maybe I don't need to do that. Um, Which I did with him. I think if I send him here, he could be attacked by that T26. So that's not a good move. I think we have really no choice but to go here. We'll do that. Uh, I do have a 3F, a Punzer 3. Uh, so I could send him southeast to take out that infantry, but I think we're about to have a tank battle, so I don't want him that far away. So let's move him north. Okay, we still have a Stuka actually. I didn't. I kind of forgot about him. Um, I think I'll send him to hit this gun in the town. Let's do that, and then let's fire my artillery here, and then let's fire the Stormgeschutz. Wonder if he's going to re reduce his entrenchment by four. That's what I would expect. This guy is at four entrenchment. I'm curious now because it seemed earlier like he didn't reduce entrenchment. That's interesting. This guy is still at four entrenchment. This unit says he reduces entrenchment by four, right? Let's just check. Abilities, entrenchment, destroys four points of entrenchment with every attack. However, his entrenchment was reduced by zero. I think this unit is bugged out. I don't think the Stug's threes work correctly, so I wonder if this is gonna get patched. I wonder if there's already a patch. Uh, that's too bad. That That's the main benefit of the unit is reducing entrenchment. So I'm going to have to either replay this scenario if it doesn't go well or get rid of that unit for the next scenario and I've wasted prestige on him. That is really unfortunate. Um, Alright, let's make this attack. Uh, that killed him, I think. So we can now advance. How far do we want to go? Let's just go. I need to take the city. I can do that with the artillery. I can reinforce this guy and I'll just advance him a little bit, the infantry a little bit. I believe that's all my units. Oh, the south. I forgot about the south. Okay. Um, let's. I should have two artillery to fire here. Oh, that's my unit. For some reason, I thought that it was an enemy unit. There are no enemy units left. So let's put some cheap replacements here. And then let's put some cheap replacements here. Some expensive replacements in my own unit. Um, and then it's time to advance forward. still dismount which is good I can move up here and dismount actually I don't know if I want to do that I want to be able to fire on the town so I think what I'll do is put him here so that next turn he can fire on the town and then I think we can go ahead and move our stug up and I'm tempted to go for a ground attack here, but I'm afraid he has an AA gun, so I think I won't do that. I think all that's left is that plane. Yep. Wait. Oh, I didn't move these Romanians. Ah, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so fire the artillery. 
Oh, can this plane reach the north? Yes, perfect. Okay. I'll come up here and make a ground attack. Let's try to make some progress with the Romanians. Um, attack number one. He fell back. Again, he's going right into the hills, unfortunately. Let's put some cheap replacements here. We'll go after him next turn. Let's move um, this guy back. Because I'm a little bit worried that that infantry is going to advance. And he probably should. Um, here... Tempted to send these guys south to sort of assist in that tank battle that's coming up. I think I'll do that because he's pretty mobile. He can't put in reinforcements. Uh, so I think that's not a bad move for him. Oh, this guy had a breakthrough. So let's undo that last move. Oh, I can't undo it. Okay. Uh, what to do with this breakthrough? Let's capture the airfield and hit this unit. Forced him out of the town, not bad. I'm almost sure to take counterattacks here, but I am in open terrain and I think I completely outmatched those Russian tanks. Oh, this guy could move east. I shouldn't have moved the artillery back. So let's just put him... Is this guy re entrenched? Yeah, let's just leave him right there. I don't want him to be spotted and attacked when he's only 11 strength. Okay, turn three done. See if the Soviets do anything. Yep, they sure did. They advanced. They hit my artillery. How they saw him, we'll never know. Uh, they shouldn't have been able to see him. That hurt, but that's okay. He's cheap. Up here, their tanks have moved forward to attack. Well, that's an armored car, actually. And that tank hurt my Stug. Apparently, he's more vulnerable than I thought to tanks. Okay. I'll pause here. Got a few things I need to do, and I'll come back. Okay, here we go, turn four. Um, I think this time, let's start in the south. Looks like we have an infantry defending this city. Uh, we're all reinforced up, so we're ready to advance. I wonder what's behind the city, of course. Tempted to send the cavalry across the river here. Looks clear. Um... I'll fire here, and then um, I'm going to move the infantry here. Oh wow, there's a lot behind the city. AT gun, artillery, heavy defenses. Okay, so let's take the ground attack plane and send it after the artillery. An attack definitely, actually can I do both these moves? No. Okay. Uh, let's send the ground attack in after the artillery. We're going to have to cross the river in the north and advance on that artillery. Can we reach it this turn? Probably not. Nope. The artillery might be able to. Yeah, he could. What? I can't see what losses he would take, though. I bet the losses aren't too bad. Let me zoom in there. Is that a zero? Five? Yeah, zero five. The AT gun won't even hurt him. I'll take that. That's a pretty good attack. Um, I've already fired both these guns. No, I have not. So I think let's go ahead and um, what I want to do is fire this gun. So I'm trying to figure out what to do with this Thermgeschutz at this point. Um, I think let's put the Stug. Well, the 4F I know I'm going to send here, so let's send him there. Then let's put the Stug here. Then let's move this guy forward and fire him at the... Mm, let's fire him at the artillery, because then we might be able to kill it with the cavalry. So let's head up here. Hit it. Maybe we'll get lucky here. Yep, gone. Good. Okay, and then um, this infantry, let's let's actually keep him on the, let's send him across, because then next turn he can try to hit the anti-tank gun. 
Let's send this guy forward just to protect our artillery in case he moves out of the city. And I bet he attacks this infantry. Okay, over here, we had the Russians come out. Um, let's reinforce this gun. Then let's move into the town behind them. Let's hit them with this tank. Hopefully they don't take my airfield and retreat. Whew, thank goodness. Okay, I think I will maybe not attack here. I'm going to get a 1-5 here. I think I'll take that attack, chasing these guys into the mountains. And then um, here, I think I'll just hold the city for now. All right, that should do it in the center. Now up here, um, unfortunately, I learned a hard lesson about how good tanks are against Stugs. They're pretty good, because the Stug did fire first. Um, with our Dukas, um, We can actually do a free move to a forward airfield with one of them, so let's just get that done. I think this is the one that can do it, so we'll move him up. Yep, then he can still fire. Okay, um, what to do here? Let's take this Duca. I'm tempted to go against the armored car, because I need to clear him out of the city. I think I'll do that. I'd love to start blasting tanks, but I really need this armored car out of my way. And he's pretty tough to kill. Although that's a stug. Maybe I could do better with a tank. Nope. Yeah, let's hit him with the Stuka because we, we need to dislodge him. To sort of clear the way to hit these other units. Alright. And then um, let's let our infantry move him out of the way. Kill him hopefully, yep. Let's reinforce this infantry. He's pretty low. Um... Let's move our Ponser 4. This is all he's going to be able to do is reach these guys, but he can kill them, so that's fantastic. Alright. And then, um, I think these infantry, this infantry can move forward because I should be able to get an artillery in place to back him up. But I'll wait, actually. Um, here, this tank destroyer. By the way, I just found out that tank destroyer is able to move and fire. Although it looks like maybe it gets some penalty because it would take a loss against this guy. Um, let's try to... Hmm. Alright, sorry. I'm going to step to the north and move this. Um, do I want to put a one... I'm going to face... We know we're going to face tanks here. Um, I bet there's nothing else in the way, so let me go ahead and make an advance here. There's one tank, a T26, and a bunker. I'm tempted to send my Stuka there because otherwise he's going to blast my Ponser 3 or 4. Let me do that. I'm going to send my Stuka over here and hit this guy. And then um, I'll send my infantry here. I'll send my gun here. And then I'll I could take a shot at minus one, but I'd take a loss. I don't really want to do that. Uh, I think I won't take any shot there. I'll just defend. Over here. I think I'm going to take the free attack that I can get. Or not. I would like my artillery to be able to back my tanks against these tanks. Or sorry, my AT to be able to back my tank against these tanks. Um, but if I send him here, he won't be able to defend anybody in this hex. And I kind of want to send this guy into this hex. Although it's not looking like I can get much suppression or good attacks. So let's play it safe the slow way. We'll send the AT here. Make our attack. He retreated. Let's reinforce the Stug. Let's go ahead and hit... question is 
how to finish off this guy. So yeah, let's um, let's finish him off like this. Oh, that won't kill him. Sorry, take that back. Wait, am I allowed to take that back? No, I'm not. So I'll just make the attack. That's gonna release him into my rear with one point, unfortunately. I should have waited to move this guy because I think he could have fired at him and killed him. That is unfortunate. Okay, so next, um, let's go ahead and just push out here. And then let's move forward with my um, artillery and bombard. I could move my infantry to here where he'd be defended by artillery and anti-tank. That seems really safe. So I'll move it up. And then the question is how to kill that guy. I don't really know what I could do to kill him. Um, let's take a shot with this guy. Maybe I'll kill him. I'm lucky. Yes. All right. Perfect. Uh, and then we'll send the Stug here to the airfield to hold it. I don't need to hold it necessarily because Zox are in the way, but then he can support the infantry or the tank if either are attacked. I think that might be all my units. Oh, I have a level bomber here. Um, I don't see a very good use for him other than maybe trying to soften up. Have I made an attack here? No. So I could soften up this city. There doesn't seem to be an AA gun there. Or I could try to make an attack. Oop, let me take that back. Uh, take it back. But I can't take it back. Interesting. Can't take that move back. Wow. I, I just don't understand the undo function in this game. Sometimes it it works and sometimes it doesn't. And I don't understand when it's going to work and when it won't. Although it seems to be really generous sometimes. It lets me move back when I don't think it should. Um, what's it do with this guy? I could reinforce this fighter, or I could just take a pot shot here. Or, I could go over here and try to kill one. That seems like the best bet, actually. Um, this guy's got four left. I think I could kill four with this guy next turn, so I probably don't need to do that. I also don't think I'm going to cause enough damage to make this attack worthwhile. So, or I could just gain some experience, though. Or I could go try to weaken these guys. Um, what's that? That's an AT gun. You know, let's just go try to weaken these guys. This seems a bit more important. Oh, there's a bomber there. Okay, let's hopefully cause a damage. One point of damage we did. What else is left to move? This guy's not going to attack. This guy's not going to attack. This guy is not going to attack. This artillery is not going to move. Although, I could have moved that artillery north. Here, we'll put in some replacements. Here, I think I'll rebase to a forward airfield. So let's send him forward. And the only question is, yeah, I think I'm done. Turn four in the books. They counterattacked out of the city pretty well. They caused five damage and only took three. Oh, that's a T-34. Thank God my artillery was there to hit him. Looks like the artillery can only fire once in defense. And there's an AA gun firing at my Stuka. Just suppression, it looks like. He's coming after my artillery. Wow, he did three damage. That bomber must be amazing stats. Because four point bomber should not cause three three damage to artillery normally. That must be a great bomber. He's hitting my Panzer three that's stuck out with all of his tanks. Okay, I'll pause it for a sec to do a couple things here. 
Okay, here we go. I gotta say, I'm really enjoying this game. This scenario is fun. It's pretty interesting. Oh, they reinforced him to 11. Wow. Alright, we'll fire the arty here. I'm sorry to see an 11 point infantry there, although I guess the good news is it's not in front of me. I'll make an attack here. Uh, the question is actually. Would I want to make that attack, or do I want to hit him with a plane? And how did my... Ah, my two planes got rebased because he took the airfield. That's how they got down there. That's an AT gun. I think I'm really going to want to use my bomber there. So let's... Um, Let's move the stug here. Let's see what I can do. Minus one, minus three. That's really not very good. So I want to use my artillery on that. Um, actually, I'm going to take the stug move back if I can. Let's put the infantry in here. And then I'll put the. mind I'll just move the tank here that'll allow me to get the um, the gun forward to fire at the AT gun to suppress it I'll fire this guy at the city now I should be able to make hay against that anti-tank gun Let's see what's available here that's a zero three we'll take that and then we will probably be following up with uh, not that um, yeah, here. Let's cause some damage here. Then we'll move the stug up, bombard the town. I'm really disappointed that this doesn't reduce entrenchment. Maybe it's something that entrenchment can't be reduced below 4? Could that be possible? Maybe that's why all the units are at 4. My mountain infantry is a little bit weaker, probably doesn't have as many heavy weapons intrinsic. That's probably why. Um, so we'll make an attack with the regular infantry. Let's see if we can push him out of the town. Yep. And then maybe we can kill him with the tank. Yes, he surrendered. Perfect. But I don't think I have anything left to take the uh, city with. Oh, yeah, I do. I haven't moved this unit. Have I moved both artillery? No. So let's move um, this artillery forward. And then we'll move this infantry. I definitely don't want him in trucks anywhere, unless maybe here is OK in trucks. So let's move him here. At least he's got the river between him and the enemy. Um, these two can't move, so I'm done in the south. Up here, I want this guy off my airfield, ideally, but it's not like it's super important um, still. Let's try to push him onto the river. Nope. But I can get a decent attack here, so let's take it. Then I think I'll follow up to take the airfield. I'll bring this. Ar Actually, do I want to bring this artillery over there? It won't let me undo it. Here, I can do a pretty good attack, so let's just keep pushing. He's going to fall into the mountains, isn't he? Let's hope he comes back out of the mountains. Maybe I'll just leave him up there and wait for him to come out later in the scenario. I don't want to really chase him too far into the mountains where he's got great defense. Um, we've obviously got a major problem here. We've got an anti-tank gun. <coughs> we've got a T-34. A lot of other tanks. I really think I'll be retreating here. But um, before I retreat, let's do some... look around and see what I can do. Uh, I definitely want to stuka on that guy, but I don't want to fly right into the AA. Did he cause damage to my stuka last turn? No, I don't think he did. So maybe it's a really weak AA. What caliber is it? 37 millimeter. It can't be that weak. Uh, maybe I just got lucky when I didn't take losses. <clears throat> um, I know for sure that I want to hit this... Uh, 
heavy bomber and bring him down. So let's do that. Um, how far can this guy reach? He needs to move up, so I'm going to move him to this airfield. And then I'll use this guy to kill the heavy bomber. Oh wow, I didn't kill him. I guess I get to fire the guy that moved to a new airfield too. Perfect, okay. So the bomber's now da down. That leaves me two Stukas. Um, yeah, I would take three losses hitting him because of the AA, so I can't hit him at all, that's clear. Uh, <clears throat> and I don't want to hit this guy with a tank, either. So I think let's go ahead and suppress the um, T-34, because I know that he'll probably try to attack with him next turn. We have forced him back. Can't make any good attacks with the infantry. So I think it's time to retreat a little bit. Let's go ahead and um, fall back one hex, I think. Or I could just hold right here. He's not going to get by me on the north flank. And he's not going to have the moves. One, two, three, four. He could get by me on the south flank. What's this guy's movement? Four. So he could come around and hit my arty if I don't fall back. So yeah, I think I'll fall back. Let's go ahead. Discretion, the better part of Valor here. Um, okay, so now let's focus on what we can focus on, which is these three tanks in the south. Um, AT gun doesn't do very good rolling up and firing, which kind of, I guess, I expected. Uh, I'm tempted to... I think I'll use a Stuka to finish this guy off, so I'll try to reserve a Stuka for that. Do I have two Stukas? Yes. Um... Actually, I need to move this guy forward, ideally. And I think this is a good turn to do it, so he's available to hit the um, T-34 and those other tanks next turn. So I'll move him up. Then with my one available attack, um, let's fire the artillery and see what that gets us. This guy needs reinforcements, so I'll do that. This guy, the most dangerous tank here is him, so I'll fire at him. And then let's... Um, Guy's down to six. I'm trying to think how much frontage I want to cover with my tanks here. Let's go ahead and move the Panzer IV north, or up, I mean. And then let's take a shot at this guy. He's probably going to retreat. I'll let this infantry get in on him. die. Great. Perfect. Um, <clears throat> next. Let's go ahead and I believe I might reinforce my infantry. I do still have one Stuka, right? Yep. I might go just try to knock out this tank. The other option is here. Looks like I would now take zero on all these units, so yeah, let's just finish off this tank and get him out of the way. And then we will reinforce this guy to full strength, yep. We will roll forward with our AT a gun, pound this guy. I mean, I'd love to reinforce that guy, but I don't think I'm going to get to. Um, I'd like to use the infantry to hit him, but I don't see how that's possible. And still use the Stug, which I'd like to do. Um, Let's um, go ahead forward here with the Stug. Suppress this guy. And let's roll my tank to the east. Hit him. And then let's uh, bring my other Stug around. Let's 
certainly possible he brings the AT gun out of the city, but he's eight entrenched, and I think doing that would be a death sentence, so I'll risk the stug here. I'll suppress this guy. Then I'll move the infantry up. Now he can attack without taking a loss. He falls back. I believe I'm done here, right? Yep. I do have an artillery that can still move up. Let's put him... I'm almost tempted to put him here because I just don't think that the tank can hurt him. And I... The anti-tank gun can't reach him. I think it's actually a safe spot because he's got stugs on both sides to support him. If he gets fired at. I know it seems a little crazy, but that way it puts him in range of the city and able to intervene next turn more effectively in whatever's going on. So let's do that. And I'm out of units. Turn ends. And circle. That's not great. Not sure why the tank didn't fire there, or the uh, artillery did not fire. Wow, look at the mobility on that T34. Jeez, Ooh, that's a dangerous tank. I'm glad I, um, I'm not facing more of those. Okay, turn six. It looks like we have cloudy weather. Unfortunately. <laughs> Right when I want to blast the Stuka. Okay, can we get after him? Yes, what could we cause? Two losses, two losses. Let's go get him with this guy. The T-34 must die. Uh, this guy is really weakened. He's at six strength. It's ugly. Um, I think I want to use my other Stuka on this tank. He's basically undamaged. Although I know there's some risk there from the AA. Maybe I'm better off using them here. That's a BT-7. That's a BT-7. The north one is an A, and this is a BT-7. I assume that the A is the better tank. I'm not actually sure. Let's hit this guy. And then let's send our fighter to hit this guy. He's more resistant to flak, I think. AA. I didn't do anything. I suppressed one, I guess. Um, here, I really want to put in a reinforcement, but it looks like it's not even allowing me, maybe because he's surrounded by three guys. Uh, I'm going to send this guy north to try to help the situation there. Actually, what if I move this guy north? Yeah, he's, he could blast them. Wow. Let's just kill the T-34. Let's get that out of our hair. Perfect. Okay, and then... Um, We'll ride to the rescue here. Hit this guy. He retreated. Now can I put in reinforcements? No, I still cannot. Is there anything else I could use to kill him? This guy could kill him. Let's go ahead and do that, I think. Let's try to get him out of our hair. Okay. And then here, I'm finally allowed to put in reinforcements or replacements. Let's bring him back to full. Let's also bring him back to full. Let's also bring him back to full. So now we're full strength in the north. And um, we need to deal with this tank next. My Ponser 4 would take losses against him. I can't reach with a level bomber, so I'm going to have to do it with artillery, it looks like. Um, we will move... I really want this artillery closer to the city, but let's go ahead and move it up one, hit this tank. We'll also use this artillery to hit that tank. Then let's see what our Ponser 4 can do. Not enough. I would like to do more. Um, we also need to kill this unit, or this tank. I can't kill him with this guy, but I could go ahead and let's bombard him. 
Still only gonna cause one loss. Let's take the one loss. He'll fall back. Um, now, can we get up here and dismount? Yes. Let's do that. Um, why would I take... Oh, I would take a loss because of the AT gun. Well, I should have used him earlier, I guess. Let me use him here. He fell back. Alright. Um... Let's move this Doug up and we'll back in with this artillery. Let's move the other Stug up, although he's probably going to get hit by the AT gun if I do that, so that's not such a good choice. Um, we can move him here. He'd be back by the AT gun if I move him here. And I think I do want a Stug in the north again. So let's just do that. Let's just reposition him north. This gun's already moved. This fighter, um, what can he do? Could go hit this guy in the hills, but he won't cause any damage. Um, he can't really do anything useful, it doesn't look like. Uh, so let's just take a shot at one of these tanks. Maybe we'll kill it. This guy shows that he's 10 strength? No. He's 1 strength and he's also 1 strength. Um, we'll take a shot here. Maybe we'll kill it. Yeah, good luck. Okay. Down here, uh, we once again have use of these two planes. We have to deal with this guy. Let's fire our gun. Let's make an attack. Then let's make another attack. He surrendered. Perfect. Okay. Now let's get busy advancing this way. Uh, before I do that. <laughs> Incredible. Alright, well, let's put some cheap replacements here and wait for him to come out of the hills because I think eventually he will. Alright, in the south. This is all cleaned up. Let's put some cheap replacements here. And then let's start our advance. How far can we get with these guns and still dismount to support my infantry? That's the main question. Not that far. I'm not in a huge rush here. So let's um, play it somewhat safe. Let's send our guns up. Get them dismounted to support the infantry. And then just advance north. A little bit slowly. Actually, I didn't mean to move that far. I, let's undo those last two moves if I can. Let's put the. Actually, you know what? Undo that. Oh, it won't let me undo now. Okay. That's okay. I'll put the stug up here. I think I might be done. What's left? Oh yeah, my bombers. Um, what do we want to do here? Let's go ahead and bomb. I don't really want this guy to attack my stug at full strength, so I'm going to send him north and bomb this guy. And then that leaves me with this guy who can take a replacement. Anybody else? Yes. This unit could make an attack on this guy for no effect. Oh, hey, I can come up here and um, maybe kill this tank. Yes, great. That's it. On to next turn. He just caused suppression. Here comes another fresh tank. Luckily, my artillery can fire. He's going to hit my stug, I would think. But no, he didn't. He hit my Panzer four. There he comes out of the mountains. Alright, I'll pause it briefly while I do a couple things real life and come back for the next turn. Okay, here we go into turn 7. So we should be able to finally eliminate, finally eliminate these pesky infantry and move back east with the Romanians. 
Let's put some cheap reinforcements in here. Let's bring our artillery up to strength. Oh, I used elite re replacements. That was dumb. Can I undo that? Let's use regular. Okay. Same thing here. Regular replacements. Um, okay, in the south. I'm a little paranoid there's a unit in here that's going to pop out and take my city. Yasi. Uh, but let's see, maybe not. Okay, so we'll go. I think this hex should be fine for my infantry, I believe. That's my mountain infantry, my regular infantry. They can't reach and dismount, so let's go ahead and move the mountain infantry up. Yep, no support, so this should sh city should fall very easily, I hope. Um, we'll go ahead and... I mean, wonder if I can just take it this turn. Is that even possible? He's at a 9 entrenchment, so... Um, let's, let's solve once and for all the problem of whether Stugs are able to move and fire. <laughs> I want to get that out of the way. So let's, I mean, not move and fire, whether they can reduce entrenchment. So he is currently at an entrenchment of nine. We move our stug three up, we fire it. Let's see what his entrenchment is after. Five. So he did reduce the entrenchment. I believe that entrenchments just cannot be reduced below four. I think that's our problem. So let's send the cav around this flank. Then let's move up the... Let's say the um, 105, fire it. I bet entrenchment, yeah, it's down to four. And then let's move this tank. Um, tempted to head out into here, but this is a terrible tank and it could be a bit dangerous. I'm also tempted to roll through here and just see if there's anything. I don't think anything's there. It would have already come to light. So let's do this. Aha, there's a cab. Okay. Not too threatening there. That will allow us to move the artillery up and fire it. Let's see if the entrenchment goes below four. No, it does not. So there's the answer to my question. Um, you just can't reduce, reduce entrenchment below four, but the stug does work correctly. It's not bugged. Um, I'm still going to take fairly heavy losses on this attack, so then the question becomes, do I want to use my level bomber? And the answer is I don't know yet, because I need to see what else it needs to be used for. So let's move north and make our attacks up here so that we can see whether the level bomber is going to be required. Um, this guy's dug in at a 9 level. And this guy on the airfield is at a one level, so detrenching him is really not going to help us much. Um, I can get a zero seven right now, so I'm inclined to just take it. Let's take that. And he held strong, crazy, and he's caused me a loss. Hold on, let's do it again. All right. Um, Now we'll move the infantry up, make an attack. That should finish him off, yep. Okay, and then we'll take the city with the infantry. <clears throat> now the question is what to do with the stug. Uh, I think I'll go ahead and suppress this guy as much as I can. And then I'll also use the artillery on this guy. All right, now what can my Punzer 4 do? He can do... Five points of damage. I think that's a good idea. The question is, do I do it from the east and force him back? Or do I do it from here and just force him to retreat? I think I'll do that. So he fell back. Um, all of these have moved. The stug, I'll hold off on moving it for a minute. Here, I'm not going to be able to make... Actually, I can make an attack here, so let's, um, the problem with doing this attack is, yes, I get to make the attack this turn, but then next turn I don't get to attack the bunker, and I'd really like to attack the bunker, so let's, um, 
let's see. Let me roll in some Stukas. I've got my Stuka B here. I think I'll make an attack here, although I realize the AA can move up and hit me. And then let's put some replacements into this guy. You know, I guess I'm not as worried about the bunker as I thought because these guys aren't so easy to knock down. Let's let's um, let's use my awesome Emil tank destroyer. Blast this guy. Dead. Nice. Um, and then potentially we could use another Stuka here, but the A will hit it, so that won't work. Um, let's suppress this guy. My Ponser 4 can hit it for 2, let's do that. And then my Ponser 3... I don't want to be next to that bunker, those are deadly. I'll roll up here and hit him with the Ponser 3. And then... Um, Although I could back him with artillery. Let's do that. Let's, um, this is a Stug. Let's send him up. We'll hit this strong point. Then we'll back him with artillery. The question is which? I think let's go with this gun. Um, Actually, this gun? No. This gun. And then let's put this gun up here to back our infantry. And let's roll our Ponser 4 forward so that no one can attack our artillery. I think we're done up there. Unless I want to make this attack, which I don't. Oh, wow, I thought this guy would... Would, um dismount he did not that's that's not ideal he's gonna hit my infantry next turn but nothing I can do now okay um, what can I do here let's see I can um, I could potentially send I think I'll do that I'll send one fighter up to this airfield and then I'll use the other well, I'll use the Stuka. Does he get a free rebase? No, he does not get a free rebase. So, I think I'll use him here. And then the fighter. I don't think there's anything he can really bomb at this point. Unless I can force that guy back, but I don't think I can now. So yep, the fighter could potentially be rebased down here, but then I'm afraid he would... Oh, if I took this airfield... Let's do that. Okay, then let's rebase the fighter to this airfield. And then the only question is how to protect this artillery, because he can go one, two... I think he only has a three movement. Let's check. And does he have a force march? He does have a force march. He moves three so this guy's definitely in danger um, let's, let's send him I think here I, I think he'll dismount here yep and that way I've got all my artillery that I can concentrate here next turn because I don't really need it here uh, what's left to move <clears throat> my level bomber yeah we can use him here I think or here either one what about my Romanian plane? Can he hit anything? Yeah, he's really long-ranged, actually. Uh, let's go after this cav. And then we'll use the level bomber. I've actually got a fighter here as well. I we could just rebase the fighter to the forward airfield. Let's do that. Send him forward. And then uh, the level bomber, since he's got awesome range. 
We'll send him after the city. Okay, now in the city. We got a 2-5 from the cab, so I think we'll take that. Oh, he retreated, which actually I didn't want. But I can take the city here. Make this attack. Forcing him farther east. Can anything else move down here? Something can move. Let's see what it is. Well, this guy can still attack. That's probably why it's waiting to end the turn. Yep. Nope. What was this? This is an infantry. I'll send it forward in trucks. Next is... What's the next unit? This guy is not going to want to attack. Although, I could put a replacement in him. I'll do that. This guy, I don't think I want to make this attack. Um, I would take one loss compared to three. I don't think I'm going to make that attack. And I'm done. Turn seven in the books. Ah, here he comes to get my artillery, but he was surprised by my any tank. Brilliant. <laughs> he came forward to hit my Stuka. He caused the loss that time, but he should be pretty vulnerable now. Alright, turn 8. Um, let's start up here, where I would really like to do something awful to this AA so that my air can start to intervene. Zero 5, I definitely like that pushed him back but due to zone of control we can't get any more there but I think that should be enough for my stukas to start to fly let's see um, this guy really needs reinforcements unfortunately but I think I'm gonna fly him anyway yep he'll fly up and then this JU-87R I'll wait and see if he retreats after I attack him. Because maybe I can hit him again with the Stuka. Yep. Actually, I'll hit this one or the bunker with the Stuka. That's not a bad idea. Um, is this guy out of ammo or did he already fire? Not sure. He's got ammo. Um, I think I need to start suppressing this bunker. So let's fire at the bunker. Let's also fire at the bunker with this guy. Let's see what the pioneer can do. Yeah, he can take no losses on the bunker. I like that. Um... So let's move this Stug out of the way. Let's move the infantry up here. Let's hit the bunker. Beautiful. Next, let's bring this guy into the picture. And um, that has not attacked yet. Oh, this guy hasn't attacked yet. So let's go here, finish off his tank. And then let's finish off. Oh, that won't finish him. So let's finish him with this guy. And I got an overrun, which I think I'll use to send him back south. Because that's eventually where I want him. Put some reinforcements in here. Let's bombard this guy. And then let's see if we can finish him off. A 1-3, that's not a very good attack. Thought I had an artillery here, but I guess not. Let's send our fighter in here. Let's see if we can get to the point where we take no losses. Yep. Alright, let's give it a try. Good, good, good. No losses. That was the goal. Um, I don't want him to run around behind me, so I'm tempted to move the stug there. 
also got these guys they can reach him now so that's that's actually not a bad idea let's do that so we'll send these guys here finish them off with the Romanian infantry hate to give away the experience that my troops need but it's okay artillery up. Now we can move this guy. I don't want to get too frisky with him. I think I'll just move him up one potentially or actually I think I'll move him here because he will be supported by that artillery so let's do this. Alright, um, we still got our Stuka. to do with this guy since he can be useful I won't I was gonna put replacements in him but he can do something useful so let's send him up here <clears throat> and let's just get rid once and for all of this gun I think this guy's already fired this guy's already fired so then the Stuka it's a choice of one point off the bunker or two points off of this let's, let's knock this tank out I don't know if that was the best choice. The bunker is going to be difficult to reduce. But I already made the choice. So actually, I could probably undo the choice. Let's see. Yep. Let's go with the bunker. Here I got a breakthrough, I guess. So let's kill this guy. And did I get another breakthrough? No. Um, we will advance here. Wait, actually, can I move this guy into that spot? Or this guy? No, because of zone of control. Let's go ahead and move this guy up. Wait, I need another tank in the south now. Um, and I wonder what this orange part is. I don't understand that part. dismount here. Yes. Okay, here. I would like a replacement, but it looks like that's not possible. I've already moved this tank. Yes. This artillery needs to start making its way back south. I don't think anything's going to run out and attack me right now. What's left to move? My... Oh yeah, this guy. Okay. Um, so let's see what we have in the south. I think it's safe to cross the river now. Let me put some cheap reinforcements in here. I do have a Ponser 4. Um, I'm just going to roll him north, backed by the Sturmgeschutz. And then I'm going to put a force march on this guy and follow along. Over here, I've got my Pioneer. He'll go with him. And then we'll leave the job of reducing this cavalry. We'll try the level bomber. Let's um, let's send the Romanian artillery north. Let's send this fighter. Is there anything useful he can do? Not really, unless I make the artillery retreat. So I think I'll just leave him. Uh, this artillery, I think I want to bombard that cavalry. If I move here, I don't think he can attack me. So I'm going to do that. This plane could have attacked the cavalry, but it looks like it's out of range now. So let's rebase him somewhere. This plane seems to have really good range, by the way. Let's send it, I think, here. What else is left? fighter, which I decided I couldn't do anything with. This fighter, yeah, we can go hit this plane, why not, or this tank, why not? This fighter, yeah, I could, I could recon, maybe. 
I'm afraid there's an AA gun there, but I guess let's figure it out. Oh, unoccupied, interesting. And I'm done. Turn eight in the books. Oh my goodness. That's a Russian infantry. I really thought it was a Romanian infantry. That's crazy. Here comes the Russian counterattack. Right on top of my artillery. Boy, I hope he doesn't die. I don't want to lose that core unit. Thank goodness he survived. That was foolish of me to move him that far forward, I guess. Or I know. Ah, bummer. Okay. Well, let's deal with this Russian infantry that I didn't realize was Russian. He looked like a Romanian infantry to me. Um, let's hit him with this, this guy. And then... I guess let's use a gun on him. No, let's use a tank. Because I'd like to reinforce that gun, ideally. Good. Okay, so this guy can fire, which I'd like, without moving. Then I'll move in the cavalry and hopefully finish him off. I hate to give all the experience to these non-core slot units, but what you gonna do? Um, here, I think I'll just take a ding out of the cavalry, and then I've got to prepare for what's about to occur here, which looks to me like I'm gonna face an attack or counterattack from these guys. I don't know if they moved or if they were there last turn. I'm not quite sure what the status there is. So here's my pioneers. We will back them with the arm artillery. Let's move the Pulsar fours over there. Let these guys cover that flank and then um, Where's the best place for this stug? I guess let's go here. And then this guy could take on some reinforcements. All right, I think that's everything here in the east, or I guess it used to be the south, now it's the far east. And then um, over here, what do we have? SU-6 any tank armored car. That armored car was pretty effective, by the way. Alright, um, and by the way, there's a cavalry here too, okay. Let's use our Stukas first. We do get an, a free rebase with this Stuka, so let's use that to move forward, why not? Let's fly this Stuka against the best enemy tank or armored car so I think what I'll do is fly him why is that guy a 1-3 why would he it's almost like there's an AA gun there that I'm not seeing because I don't understand why my Stuka would take a damage um, okay so let's send this Stuka against the armored car let's send the Stuka against or sorry against the tank the Stuka against the armored car. Although, is that even necessary? Because I do have an AT gun here. I want to reinforce it though. Let's see what we can do without it up here. Uh, we'll hit the bunker. Hit the bunker with this guy, hopefully take no losses. Now it's down to two points. We could kill it off with our um, AT gun. Let's kill this tank. Um, that guy's dangerous. Let's fire a gun on him. Although we have a lot of stuff to do here. Let's fire a gun here. 
That should let me attack him without losses. <coughs> um, I think we'll fire a gun. I don't want to take losses hitting him, so let's just use the Stuka. Alright, now we can hit him with this Punzer 3. He falls back. We can next hit him with this Punzer 4, but that won't kill him. We can hit him with this uh, AT gun. Boy, that's a great unit. I'm glad I got it. Here, I want to take reinforcements, so I'll do that. And it looks like there's just no way I'm going to finish off the bunker. But that's okay. I'll roll this dug up. Did I already fire him? I think I already did fire him, yep. Do I have any planes at these rear airfields? No, I do not. Let's use the um, fighter to reduce... Ah, I should have probably hit the armored car. Or, I mean, the cavalry. Um, let's suppress the cavalry. We'll save this fighter to hit anything that retreats. Hopefully we can make something retreat here. Um, let's use this gun. On the cavalry. Next, let's use... This gun on the cavalry, the stug. Then let's roll up the Romanian infantry and the German infantry. Boy, the cavalry is going to cause me damage. That's too bad. I I don't like that. Is there anything else I can do? Yeah, I could move this tank up. That's not a bad idea. So let me see if I can undo my last two moves. Let's roll this tank up. Seems to be pretty good against soft targets and not any good against hard targets, so that's perfect here. He can take a loss, and then let's allow the, um, you know, let me get the fighter in the action here. My cavalry seems dangerous. And now maybe my pioneers can make an attack with no losses. That would be ideal. Let's see. Yep. Dead. Perfect. Okay. Um, next... I think what I want to do is hit this gun platform. Do I have anything up here that hasn't attacked? No. So let's hit this gun platform. He falls back. I don't think I'm going to be able to uh, do anything to that guy very good. Nope. Uh, I don't think I have anything I haven't fired in terms of artillery, but I do want to cover my artillery so he can't hit it again. So let's put this guy up at the front line and then let's roll the Romanian around here let's keep him adjacent to the Stug so he can get artillery support and um, let's move our infantry forward do I leave it unsupported here I really feel like there's nothing in the way so I feel pretty safe sending it here let's do that and this gun can then roll up and support him against that tank. I could force march this infantry forward. These guys have all fired already. Okay, I definitely want this um, Punzer 3 going south, I feel. So, actually, I'm prob this, is, this could be the last Soviet armor I'll face, so instead of sending him south, let's just uh, make our way forward here. Let's hem in that T26 or BT7. Let's zock this guy so that he can't reinforce and can't hurt me. We'll put this guy here. We'll roll this artillery forward here. Seems pretty safe, but yeah, I think it's pretty safe. And then 
let's sort of scoot our infantry around this guy. Won't do much good probably, but uh, maybe I'll need to move him south later so that hex is better. Here, I would take a loss, so I don't want to make that attack. With that's all that's left. Turn's done. Turn nine in the books. Here comes some infantry. Oh good, I have artillery support. Boy, he still did a damage uh, three points to me. Encircled. Okay, continuing with turn 10. Actually, you know what? I'll wrap it here because it's a long video and we'll continue in another video. Thank you.